crazy, crazy, no tie. Happy Friday, everyone. What a week, huh? If you're a fan of liberal meltdowns, well, kids, this is your Super Bowl wrapped in a World Series with a Stanley Cup chaser. <laughs> it's all sports stuff. First, the Supreme Court strikes down New York State's regulations for concealed carry pistol permits, which allows... All right. Got some murderers in the, office, in the audience. But that allows more law-abiding Americans the right to carry in public spaces where not-so-law-abiding citizens are already doing the same. Funny how libs aimed at packing the court, and now the court is packing the public. <laughs> We go to the NRA for comment. Meanwhile, the gun control libs took it well. Yeah, the frantic, miserable takes came in hot and heavy. But you may not notice, since these freaks are miserable all the time. But man, do they hate it when law-abiding people finally get the same protections as thugs. Apparently, the left worries that those poor felons might get shot when they're trying to shoot you. Remember, it's these idiots who push for defunding of the police and gun control at the same time. Like an intern for Andrew Cuomo, he gets squeezed at both ends. Oh. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't write this stuff. It's disgusting. <laughs> the system won't protect you, and neither can you. You're like a kidnapping victim after the search for you has been called off. But you can see why the left is pissed. Crime doesn't affect them. They live in nice places, have private security. So no wonder this dolt finds it shocking, absolutely shocking. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. I'm sorry this dark day has come. Mm. I'd ask what world she's been living in. Mostly because her eyebrows look like aliens. <laughs> Here's our New York mayor. This decision has made every single one of us less safe from gun violence. And we cannot allow New York to become the wild, wild west. Mm, that's an insult to the era and the Will Smith movie. <laughs> and the TV show. The wild, wild west, has this guy ever been to East New York? It's way past the wild, wild west. John Wayne's horse would be stripped to its hooves in five minutes <laughs> if he rode through there. Look, I want to give you a chance, Mayor, but guns don't kill people. Politicians who don't do <laughs> to keep violent criminals off the street kill people. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Applaud away. I deserve it. When you were campaigning for mayor, you were always described as a law and order guy. We didn't know they meant it's your favorite TV show. <laughs> Maybe instead of going to the gala at the Met dressed like P. Daddy's butler, <laughs> do your job, okay? God, I hope Kamala is deeply concerned and troubled. We, the president, myself, many of us are deeply concerned and troubled by the Supreme Court's ruling today. Um, it, it, I believe, defies common sense and um, the Constitution. <laughs> Yeah, right. Cam talking common sense is like cat talking nuclear fission. Greg, nuclear fission is just a reaction where the nucleus of an atom splits into two or more smaller nuclei, which releases a huge amount of energy, even by the energetic standards of radioactive decay. Oh. <laughs> so. Gonna have to rethink my thoughts on Kamala. Fair enough. And what of poor Lori Lightfoot? The fact that the court um, is coming down with this decision feels tone deaf. And I, th I worry that it undermines the legitimacy uh, of the court. Sorry, lady. But I also hear gunshots make you tone deaf. Maybe see a doctor before diagnosing this decision. You gave up on fighting crime in the most violent city in the country and just banned cops from chasing perps. So you have no voice in this matter. And please, as a medical professional, Get some sleep. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder, is Joe disappointed in the Supreme Court gun decision? I am disappointed in the Supreme Court gun decision. I think it's a bad decision. I think it's 
and I think it's not reasoned accurately, but I'm disappointed. Yeah, he's disappointed because he thought Matlock was on. <laughs> but at least he knows how we feel about him. Disappointed. I bet the view don't even have the words, it seems. I don't even have the words, it seems. <laughs> stupid. No, it's worse than that. It's no, worse it's than insane. that. It's not even it's stupid. Insane. It is. It's. Like a death it's wish. No, it's. It's so. It's such a middle finger to New York. Mm, no, it's the Supreme Court flipping you off. <laughs> but screw them all. Not literally. That's disgusting. <laughs> Here's why. They didn't care about the riots. They saw them as justifiable. They didn't care about black on black crime because it embarrassed their own sequestered lives and their own obliviousness to the consequences of their crappy policies. They created the crime and now they're mad people want to defend themselves. And they think that if we just sit there and be victims, we'll eventually all be Democrats. <laughs> Sorry, you can't have it both ways. You can't do nothing to protect us and then prevent us from protecting ourselves, especially when it's our right. And dare I say, God given. <laughs> Wait, look, it's amazing. I'm agnostic, except you gun control jerks made me into a believer. If I have to listen to one more vapid gun control idea, the next time you'll see me, I'll be wearing a clerical collar. <laughs> Besides, my abs are proof there's a God. <laughs> But you defund the police, let out repeat offenders, reduce penalties for gun crime. The only thing left is the Second Amendment. Look, the First Amendment is enumerated, meaning I don't need paperwork to tell you to go screw yourself. The Second Amendment is also enumerated. It's a right that's inalienable, which is hard to say drunk. <laughs> Too many vowels. But it also means you can't infringe on it. And now we have Roe v. Wade overturned. And here's the obvious one-sentence explanation. Guns are in the Constitution. Abortion isn't. You can love it or hate it, but it's hard to argue that point. And I get it. Not everyone should have guns. But... <laughs> <laughs> but this wouldn't be a problem had these liberal a-holes done their job instead of siding with the thugs. They let people out because they said it was racist to keep them in, then looked the other way when minority neighborhoods were destroyed due to their stupid policies. They made this crime-ridden bed. True, we'll all still need to apply for a gun permit, but we sure as hell don't need your permission anymore. So as one famous cop once said, go ahead, make my day. It looks like the Supreme Court just did. Welcome tonight. Yes. She only sweats the big stuff because by comparison, it's all big stuff. Co-host of The Five in America's Newsroom, Dana Perino. She's the money maven whose hair is not raven. <laughs> Host of the evening edit on Fox Business, Liz McDonald. <laughs> He's got three names, one for himself and another two for each bicep. Retired U.S. Marine Corps bomb technician and Fox News contributor, Johnny Joey Joe. <laughs> and she's like a hotel reservation from yesterday. Already checked out. <laughs> Fox News contributor, Cat Tim. <laughs> so, Dana, which one would you like to tackle? Do you want to just, I mean, you know, uh, the, the, the Roe v. Wade thing just happened, and uh, so I don't know. What's your feeling? Well, I think one the, what you pointed out very succinctly, and I think this is the key thing to know, is that yesterday, when the gun case came out, the Democrats, um, liberals, people who were against that decision were like, how dare they? Mm -hmm. And then today they're using their same arguments to say, how dare they on Roe v. Wade? Because they're trying to make the same argument. Right. Because basically, as you pointed out, in the Second Amendment is clear. Mm -hmm. And even though New York can have a law on its books for 100 years, that doesn't mean it was constitutional. Right. And so now you have a court that is willing to go there. Mm -hmm. And also, gun rights act activists had told people, well, activists, people that support gun rights had said, you better not bring this case mm -hmm. to the Supreme Court because you're going to lose. Mm -hmm. That's what they were telling to the gun control people. They brought it anyway, and now they've lost. I do think with, when Whippy Goldberg says that, it's like, actually, the... Alvin Bragg and the prosecutors like Gascon and Krasner, that's flipping off the citizens yes. who are, have a contract with you in order to take care of them. Then on the other side, 
abortion is nowhere in the Constitution. Mm -hmm. it, there's, it, there's no Third Amendment. It doesn't say the Fourth Amendment. Is not, it's not about uh, abortion. And so now it doesn't mean that there's no abortion ever in the United States. It means the states get to now have a shot at it. If you live in New York State, nothing changes for you. Right. If you live in California, nothing changes for you, except for Gavin Newsom wants to make California an abortion destination, mm. which if you're working in the Tourism Bureau, you probably never thought you would make a, bureau, uh, like a brochure <laughs> yes. for that. Oh my God. I'm not taking that cruise. That's right. So um, <laughs> there are a lot of... Um, there's a lot of misconceptions. There's a lot of hyperbole. There's a lot of media misconceptions. It's going to continue. But I also will point out one last thing. If people think this will change anything in the midterms, I think that they're wrong. In Virginia, when... It, it, remember the Youngkin yeah. win? 60% of people who said that abortion was their number one issue, and Terry McAuliffe tried to make that an issue in Virginia, 60% of them voted for Youngkin. Mm-hmm. So I don't necessarily think that this gets the Democrats where they want to be electorally. They voted for Young Kin then. The Supreme <laughs> Court voted for Young Kin. I should have I come up with that. I really, really should have come up with that. Verbal, verbal acuity like you've never seen before. <laughs> Joey, yeah. great to see you. You're the gun expert, judging by your biceps. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to hang those on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, like to, I'd like to put those in my gun safe. Yeah. Listen, um... <laughs> you're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. Um, I can't. Tyrus isn't here to make I know, uncomfortable, I know, so I know. it's you. Listen, um, thank God. Thank God Donald Trump was president for four years. <laughs> If you was wanted that... me to clap for you, you could have just asked. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> no, but I'm Is this curious. like red meat Friday? Yeah. We, you know, it's, like it's the opposite of vegan Friday. Yeah, you just under, throw red meat out. Under eight years of Obama, it was the Democrats' practice to throw it to the Supreme Court if we can't get the support. Right. When you worry about these issues, guns or abortion, those are issues that truly have divided us, or we are divided, and these issues have come to light mm -hmm. as Americans. The reason why we're divided is we have two very different experiences. Mm -hmm. Listen, we live in a country that will let you go be the king or queen of your castle if you, cho if you so choose. But also, if you choose to be a part of the hive and an ant and an hill, you can move to New York. Mm -hmm. But those yeah. rights stay the same. Just because they're more pragmatic in Georgia than they are here to some politicians doesn't mean that they somehow go away because you move here and there's 7 million people in a place where there should be 7,000. Mm -hmm. that's, not, that's not the Constitution's <laughs> fault. All right? So when we talk about guns in New York, the reason why I leave my door unlocked 25 minutes south of Atlanta is not because there's no vagrants around. Mm. It's because every vagrant in my county knows they're probably going to get shot. Mm. Right. If they come into, not just my house, but any house, there is a part of our culture. American culture is gun culture. It's a part of who we are. It's part of the fabric that put this country together. When you compare us to the wild, wild west, well, what was the wild, wild west? It was the taming of the wild, wild. Mm. And, we, and we had to have a gun on our side to have order in the streets. Yeah. All right? Well, that's what this is because the police aren't putting order on the streets. There aren't enough of them. There aren't enough people in this city that would want to do the job, much less be compensated for it, yeah. to get rid of the crime that's here because of the policies that have ushered the crime in. So it, it's a problem. Yes. People have the basic right to defend themselves and a bureaucrat deciding what day they're going to work and who should or shouldn't get to carry a firearm based on how well they argued their danger. You don't carry a firearm because somebody's trying to kill you. You carry a firearm so nobody ever does. Right. There you go. What do you think, Liz? <laughs> you know, you're, uh, you're packing right now, right? You have, uh, Not like Joey is. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some guns over there. Um, you know, I was, please for now. I, you know, it's... Just the defund the police push, and I, I always wonder why, how come it's not considered a civil rights violation to let a felon out of a prison who kills an innocent person? Right. You know, so, it, so where, where was that? So, and then, you know, just looking at the whole debate, when it comes to how they're going to handle it in New York, you know, the permitting process is going to be stuck, right? Right. So when you think about it, you would, you would sooner have an obituary written about you that get your apartment renovated, <laughs> right? Yes. Because it takes years. So yes. they're probably going to have yep. this stuck in that process for a very long time. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, there is, you know, the, George Will had that column. Everybody's talking about it. There's a trade-off between 
you know, the Second Amendment and public safety, the fram framers wanted both. There is a concern about that, right? Right, right, of People course. People want to feel safe in New York. You don't know who's sitting next to you on the subway with a gun, right? So there's that issue. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a serious one. And when it comes to abortion, mm -hmm. you know, I always wondered, you know, 100 countries have over-the-counter birth control, right? right? And so there is an issue about that. You don't want unwanted teen pregnancies. Mm -hmm. It could be misused. That, that's an issue, too. But I always wondered if, if men could get pregnant... There might be chocolate-covered Advil in, in a four-day work week right now. <laughs> but I don't know. But, you know, so, so there are serious issues. Yeah, of course. For, but, and it's, it's wild that they did it back-to-back -back in two yeah. days, yeah. right? Yeah. And you, you know who's out of the country right now is Attorney General Merrick Garland. Uh, so why, I don't understand why he's out of the country Yeah, he's right where, now. where is he right now? Is he's he in Ukraine. Ukraine. Yeah, there you go. There's your answer, Kat. You know, as a future Supreme Court justice, mm -hmm. were they correct <laughs> on the uh, Second Amendment, you think? Obviously. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've never understood how it was New York was able to have the laws that it has. I mean, if I have a right to self-defense, that means I have a right to a gun. Yeah. I don't look like Joey. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I could be so easily murdered. That's yes. like, like, it, like you wouldn't even, you know what I mean? Like, you could even use your bare hands probably just kill me. <laughs> These are things uh, you shouldn't brag about. No, I mean, just look at me. Everybody already knows that. Yeah. They're probably, some of them are probably thinking about it. <laughs> You know, yeah. I, so I, I, I should, I, I'm so excited about this. Yeah. I want to get a gun. I want to get so many guns. I wish <laughs> I'm going to be one of those girls where guns becomes my whole personality. <laughs> I'm going to turn into one of those. I wish that real estate was like a little cheaper because I'm going to need more room for all my just arsenal of weapons. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Yes. Amen. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.